Yo, what is up, everyone? It is your boy Echo. In today's Minecraft video, we have a brand new Minecraft Java Edition snapshot, which comes with a brand new advancement, which means Minecraft Bedrock Edition will have some new achievements in the 1.20 update. Also, a bug from 2012 was finally fixed today. Also, let's make a prediction. I think 1.20 is close to releasing. I want you to leave a comment down below on the exact day you think it's going to be released on. All right, let's start with the brand new advancements that have been introduced to Minecraft Java Edition. The only question is, which ones will actually be achievements for Minecraft Bedrock Edition? The reason why I'm saying this is because I went back to the 1.19 update release advancements. As you can see, we have nine different advancements. But if we check out the achievements for Minecraft Bedrock Edition, only four out of the nine advancements actually became achievements for Bedrock Edition players. Let's start with the husbandry achievements. It says, smells interesting. Obtain a sniffer egg. So I haven't done these and we will go through them. So if we grab ourselves a sniffer egg, which is this one, as you can see, advancement made, smells interesting. And when you're in advancements, if you go to this one right here and you just go up a little bit, you'll see it right there. Now, these are all a knock-on effect because the next one is little sniffs. Feed a snifflet, but it requires smells interesting. So we have to actually get two of these and wait for them to grow up, then breed them, and then get the next one. Or you could just go in creative and feed it this, and there you go, little sniffs. And we also have planting the past. Plant any sniffer seed. So this can be the torch flower, or it can be the pitcher pod. It either requires the torch flower or the pitcher plant. So we'll go over to this village and steal his plants. We'll plant this one down. And we'll also plant this one down as well. Advancement made. Planting the past. Next on our list is going to be the adventure advancements. Respecting the remnants. Brush a suspicious block to obtain a pottery shirt. It doesn't really matter what you find. Whether it's a desert well. Whether it is a desert temple. Whether it is a tray of ruins. You're just going to have to find yourself a suspicious block. And if you're lucky enough, like me, as soon as you find one of these, it says advancement made respecting the remnants. Yeah, totally didn't get lazy and just place the temple right there. Next on our list is careful restoration. Make a decorated pot out of four pottery sherds. So you're going to have to go, you get yourself some of these. It doesn't matter if it's the same one. So if we grab four of these and we grab ourselves a crafting table, place this down and just make this, you'll see here an advancement has been made. Crafting a new look. Craft a trimmed armor at a smithing table. Now, with the smithing table, we actually have a quality of life feature, which I will go over in today's video. So get yourself, let's go with diamonds. We're going to grab ourselves some netherite here and we're going to grab ourselves a template. I really like the rib one. Put this inside of here and as you can see, we have a new advancement made. And we have smithing with style. Apply these smithing templates at least once. It has to be spire, snout, rib, ward, silence, vex, tide, or wayfinder. Uh, I have all of them here. I'm not sure if this means I have to do all of them or I have to do just one of them. So what I am going to do is I'm going to do all of them. Ah, yes, you do have to do all of them. So that is definitely going to be a long advancement that you work towards. In last week's snapshots, Mojang did some changes to fonts. It says new Unihex Glyphs Provider. And I want to explain this the best I can. I've seen some creators say that the developers removed Unicode. That isn't true. It is still being used. However, they also introduced this Unifont. Now, Unifont is a pixelated font that the game is now using. Previously, glyphs that weren't provided by Minecraft's default font were replaced by the default system font. That's why some special symbols 
didn't appear pixelated. So have you ever placed a symbol on a sign or on a weapon and it's not actually pixelated? Well, now it will show a little bit pixelated. And I can show you a couple of examples here. And if we just get ourselves some glow, we get ourselves some lime and we place this down so i've got a few here now you can see that the hearts are now showing pixelated the music pixelated the tick is now pixelated this wasn't the case previously it wasn't the case for minecraft bedrock and it wasn't the case for minecraft java so if we grab ourselves a sword put this in here and we completely get rid of this and type it out as you can see they are pixelated this was the picture that Mojang used in last week's snapshots. And here is a perfect example. There's a train. It's now pixelated. We have the light, which is also now pixelated. So I hope that makes sense. In case you didn't know, Mojang added new splash text. There is five new ones. What the developers have also done is moved the yellow splash text over slightly. So it's not overlapping the Java edition logo. But if I show you guys the picture right here, we now have 445 splash text. We have one which is this sand is sauce. One which is remember to brush your dot 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 teeth. We have has working bookshelves. Sniff, sniff, place hanging sign here. The developers also introduced another advancement this week. And that is the power of books. Read the power signal of a chiseled bookshelf using a comparator. So I imagine this means put down a book, also put down a comparator. There you go. The power of books is now an advancement unlocked. In this week's version, they introduced a pretty cool quality of life change. It says for ease of use, the smithing table no longer requires a smithing template to be in the template slot before placing an item stack into the other slots. Okay, so in last week's version and the previous versions, in order to put this in its slot and this in its slot, you had to put this to unlock these and then you could do it, right? Well, now you don't have to. Now you can put your diamond chest plate first or you can put this first and then you can put this inside of there. So good quality of life change introduced Jukeboxes boxes have also been added to the redstone blocks in the creative tab so if we go inside of here you will be able to see the jukebox we also have some step sounds changes walking on a block will now always play a step sound it was previously not the case if you were walking along the edge of a block with air or fluid beside it so as you guys know if you walk on this it plays a sound. However, if you were previously on this, slightly hovering over it like this, it did not play a sound if there was water or if there was air right next to you. Alongside that, walking on the ocean floor will now produce a step sound for the block you are walking on at a lower volume and pitch. So if you are in a gravel ocean and you're walking across the bottom of the ocean, yes, it now actually does have sounds, which honestly, I never noticed that this wasn't a thing. What about down here? It's stone, right? It does make a sound. I can just about hear it. The last thing we have this week is some bug fixes. A 2012 bug has now been fixed. These are all the bugs in this version, but we are focusing on this one, which is MC1133. Look at the number differences compared to this one. This is the bug report. It was reported back on the 29th of October 2012. Whether or not a player experiences some effect is calculated based on the block under the center of the player. Now, it sounds a little bit more confusing than it is. It spans across all of these versions, and we do have a video here. So what's going to happen is this person is going to use a slime block, and we're going to do the same in today's video. They place it down. We've all done this, like hovered off the block, but we're still technically on the block, right? They're going to teleport themselves in the air and when they land they die well we know when you land on a slime block you shouldn't die so if we do the exact same thing that this person did get ourselves a slime block get on the slime block and just hover over it like this you can currently see i'm technically floating now we've got a game mode survival for this and we do forward slash tp 
do at p and then we do this we go like a hundred and then we do it again and we go up you'll see here we are now on the actual block still so yeah it's taken so many years for that to be patched but it's finally been patched